What's up guys, this is Omega Liar, and I'm going to be bringing you the last video of the series, Modern Warfare 3 Perk Slot 3 Analysis and Thoughts. Uh, in this video, I'm just going to be going over the third tier perks, my personal thoughts, uh, what each one of them does, and which ones I think are going to be used the most. Um, this is a follow-up to Modern Warfare 3 Perk Slot 2 and 1. If you haven't already seen them, check them out, especially Perk Slot 2, because that seems the one with the uh, highest area of concern. But uh, other than that, let's just jump right into it. Now the first perk we're going to be looking at is uh, Steady Aim or Steady Aim Pro and basically what this perk does is allow you to have uh, decreased or actually increased hip fire accuracy but it's basically decreased hip fire spread and the pro ability is fast recovery from sprint. Now this I think is going to be one of the more popular perks in the last year in the last uh, perk slot. Um, I mean sniper a lot of snipers are definitely going to use this and uh You'll, you'll see the comparison I'll make later on in this video. But um, it's been popular with snipers, it's popular with SMGs. Sometimes it's even used on assault rifles, especially in Black Ops. Because if you threw uh, steady aim on an auger from Moss, that, it just made the gun that much more powerful. And the, uh, the fact that um, the pro variation is coming back as faster recover from sprint, that is by far one of the most useful pro abilities you can get on a perk. Because um, one of the... <laughs> I would say leading causes of death, but it's just really one of the mistakes most people make is sprinting all the time, which is why uh, I tend to stay away from perks like extreme conditioning and uh, in this game, but in, in also marathon, without using something that copes with the fact that you're running all the time. And uh, in this case, it'd be steady aim, and I think a rushing class is going to need steady aim. You can use extreme conditioning plus steady aim plus whatever middle perk you want. And uh, you all have a good rushing class right there. Um, so I think this is going to be one of the most used. And uh, I'll get right into the next ones. Because uh, I think for the most part the third tier perk slot is not that useful. But it's decently useful. And um, if, you, if we want to get the most out of it, steady aim is definitely one of the ways you can go. Now the second perk we're going to be taking a look at is Stalker Pro. And... Um, what this perk allows you to do is move faster while aiming down sights and the pro variation allows you to uh, delay enemy claim or explosions. Now keep in mind, I, it doesn't say bouncing Bettys and while not, this hasn't been confirmed yet, you, it's safe to assume that it doesn't delay bouncing Bettys. Um, it just does claim ones. So that sort of takes away from it a little bit. It should probably delay both. Although I don't really know how bouncing Bettys work so far, but it's it seems like bouncing Betty's are just gonna be better than claimers, unless maybe you get two claimers or something. But um that's basically what the perk does. And this class, this perk at least, I feel if ever used, is only gonna be used on submachine guns. Cause from moving past while aiming on sights, you already move quickly while aiming on the sights of pistols and machine pistols and submachine guns. And I, I believe shotguns, I'm not positive though. But um, if you were to be able to move even faster, you could walk and aim down sights at the same time at regular speed. And I think that would add a new aspect because that means you don't have to spray enemies down um, and slow down your speed. You could go around corners walking while aiming down sights at normal speed and I think it would be very good for close range, um, for close quarters combat. But on the other hand, if you ha you're using, using Steady Aim Pro, you have a better chance of close range anyway. Um, now the benefit of delaying enemy claymores is useful but I don't think it's powerful enough to be more useful than steady aim um, but that's just my opinion so I don't think this perk is gonna be used very much but it's a nice idea and uh, I don't know I just don't think it's gonna work out but we're just gonna move on to the next perk now now the next perk we're gonna be taking a look at is marksman pro and what this perk allows you to do is identify tar um, enemy targets at long range and the pro variation allows you to hold your breath long. Now, uh, looking at the first, the first benefit, as from what I understand, this could mean one of two things. Because um, there is a um, the UAV recon drone that um, paints enemies on the map as well as gives, I believe, a red box around them. And while it might not, I all I know is that it in some way puts the enemy on the map. Whether it's you can physically see them um, through your screen or if you have to look at the UAV. But I, I believe that this is going to have the same effect. And 
So that means that basically if you come catch a target at long range, you'll hit a certain button, which will probably... I don't really know what button it'll be, but it allows you to... It's not necessarily a clear perk, and I also really don't think it's that useful to perk, because the pro benefit is hold your breath longer. So that if it really only becomes useful with sniper rifles where you get both benefits. But even then, most snipers would probably prefer, in this case, uh, steady aim or dead silence. But I'll get into dead silence later. Um, because people like trick shotting, people like no scoping and that stuff, and that's where steady aim comes in. So uh, once again, I believe steady aim and is going to be a little bit more powerful and more popular than a uh, marksman. And I don't know, I think this perk is just a little bit useless and... We'll see if I'm wrong or not, but I don't think it's going to be all that useful at all. Now the second to last perk we're going to be taking a look at is SITREP um, or SITREP Pro. And what this perk allows you to do is detect enemy explosives and tactical insertions. And the pro benefit is the same as Modern Warfare 2. It uh, makes enemy footsteps louder. And basically, this perk is useful. But I'm going to say, once again, I think it just falls short of standing aim and dead silence. Because... Um, detecting enemy explosives and whatever is useful, but I think get just the benefits of steady aim and having the decreased hip fire spread and having faster recovery from sprint just outweigh the benefits of here, of this. Because um, when if let's say uh, you're using steady aim and you're running around the corner, um, you can get hit by a claymore and that's fine, but um, let's say the other en you are running against another enemy and uh, you both are sprinting, you're gonna get up quicker and you're gonna get that kill. And in more situations, you're gonna run into an enemy than you're gonna run into a claymore. So uh, I think steady aim is definitely more useful. And uh, dead silence is more useful because it, it says it makes enemy footsteps louder. And that really only comes into play if you're gonna be using a headset. But even if you're using a headset, dead silence is more useful because it silences your own footsteps. So it, it, it uh, Without physically doing it, it mimics the fact that enemy footsteps are louder because you can't hear your own. And, um, I don't know, I just think sit rep will be, it's definitely more useful than Marksman and Stalker. I think Marksman and Stalker are just going to get degraded and never really used ever. But, um, it, and it's not necessarily a bad perk, but I think Steady Game and uh, Dead Silence are both better, and just in general in more situations. And uh, I guess that moves me right on to the last perk, which unfortunately I couldn't get a picture of, and that seems to be a theme in the series. Don't have a picture of the last perk. But, um, it's Dead Silence. The regular benefit is silence your own footsteps, and the pro benefit is no falling damage. And, um, that perk is also going to be useful for s those trick shot sniper guys, because no falling damage. So it'll be up between steady aim and uh, dead silence. And um, if you mix Dead Silence with Extreme Conditioning, or uh, yeah, ma mainly just Extreme Conditioning, you can uh, get the benefit, you climb stuff faster, you can jump off stuff, you're not, you can run far as well as not being detected while running far. And then if you throw that on with Assassin, I think that that will be the stealth, uh, stealth combination, not with um, Blind Eye. With Blind Eye, I think it's, gonna, it's already overrated. But um... I, just in general, the benefits of Dead Silence outweigh Sit Rep and come and pretty much contrast with Steady Aim. So, as you can see in Perk 3, the dominant two perks are Steady Aim and Dead Silence. Um, right behind it is Sit Rep, but it really won't be that common. And then you have Stalker and Marksman, which I don't think it's just ever going to get used. Um, which shows that yeah, they, they try to add in some new things, but they really didn't do a good job of them. Um, of balancing it in this perk slot, and people are complaining about Assassin, but and people won't complain about this because it's not a huge deal because it's not like you know, like a steady aim and dead silence are not like the biggest benefits you can get out of a perk, but it still technically is a problem that they weren't able to balance it out because I can already see without even playing the game that those two perks are going to be dominant without any question, but um. That's basically the summary of this video. Steady aim and dead silence are going to be most common, but um, just followed by shit rep, and then the other two are sort of useless. And uh, if I already give you suggestions, don't try and use the other two perks. They really just don't seem worth it. Um, and I mean, unless you're forced to, because they're also at the top, which probably means you unlock them first. But uh, that's about it. 
If you like this, comment telling me what you think about this perk slot. And uh, don't forget to check out my other videos in the series, perk slot 2 and 1. And uh, like it. If you really like it, favorite it. And uh, come subscribe if you want to see more. Generally, I do commentaries, but I also do discussion videos like this. And uh, informative discussion videos, I guess you could say. But um, this has been Omega Liar, and I will see you in my next commentary.